Hi, I'm Jim Walker. Welcome to 2022. We're making new videos for the flooring industry. We know with your hand skills and my knowledge, you can make more money. I believe in you. First, measure for the length cut. Start your tape measure over the lip of the return, continuing across the tread and down to the bottom of the riser. Add two inches to the overall length measurement. Next, place the tape measure through the spindles and wrap it underneath the upholstered lip. Extend it across the stair to the opposite edge to be upholstered and under the lip. Add two inches to this measurement to obtain the width. Cut the carpet to size. Before installing the stair, check the direction of the nap. The industry accepts that the carpet pile should run down the stairs. A good way to remember this is the saying, down the stairs and out the door. The pile direction can also be installed up the staircase, but it is never to be installed across the steps unless the pattern carpet on the floor must be matched. I recommend you begin at the bottom of the staircase and work toward the top. Position the carpet onto the tack strip leaving enough carpet to fold under each lip of the two upholstered sides. Leave approximately one quarter inch curled out to be tucked under the tack strip. To set the carpet into the gully of the stair, start in the center of the step and use a stair tool and rubber mallet. Continue driving the carpet into the gully the entire width of the stair. Secure the carpet to the tack strip on the riser by rubbing the head of a hammer or stair tool across the face of the carpet over the tack strip. Fold the carpet up over the bullnose and tread. I will be using a marker to help show where I'm cutting. Make relief cuts at the front two corners of the first spindle. Bring them to the center point of the spindle. From this point, Cut the carpet straight out the entire length of the carpet so that the cut will align with the rest of the spindles. Always make your cuts from the back and do not let the blade penetrate far enough to cut the face pile. Position the carpet on the stair. Before you secure it to the tack strip, make sure the relief cut allows the carpet to lay flush against the bull nose. Place the carpet onto the tack strip. Check the knee kicker and make sure the pins are not bent. Use the knee kicker to stretch and attach the carpet to the tack strip. Use the stair tool and rubber mallet again to drive the carpet into the gully. After the carpet is securely tucked, trim the excess from the tread the width of the riser. Thanks for watching and enjoy a profitable 2022 and check back soon.